you mentioned something interesting. You could do this as a post. Mm -hmm. You could do this as a question just to people that you've talked to. And you would, I don't know how you would research this, but I'll, I'll tell you what I'm thinking. So one thing that you mentioned here is that you're saying, hey, look, a lot of people aren't giving me a chance to get hired because I don't have industry experience. However, there's a lot of people who have had no industry experience and still able to got, got the job or whatever that is. So it's, this would be interesting. I don't know. This could be a question for LinkedIn posts. However, again, you could ask people this and be like, hey, right now I'm in the interviewing process. I've been doing a lot of networking. Curious to hear LinkedIn's thoughts. Who knows a marketer that's had no SaaS experience and has moved into SaaS marketing? That question alone, when, when you ask a question to LinkedIn, people want to help generally. That's human psychology. People want to help. So if you ask that type of question, there could be a lot of people who interact with that and tag people that they know. And then you could mm -hmm. use those people, right, to reach out to them and be like, hey, look, I'm really struggling right now. I have marketing experience. However, I don't have SaaS experience and I keep getting blocked from getting accepted. What can I do to get the job, right? Because I don't know the answer to that question because I'm not a marketer, right? I never interviewed for a marketing job and I haven't gone for another industry to SaaS, right? So the contextual answer that I have there, I don't. However, from the concept of like getting it, that's, mm -hmm. that's the answer I would give you. Because I came from no SaaS experience into sales and I, got, and I got the job. And a lot of it was reaching out to people who didn't have that experience beforehand and then broke into it due to certain things that they were doing. 